Hey everyone, I just recently got these fancy new linear stems in, so let's take a look. While the majority of switch stems out there are made from polyoxymethylene, aka POM, these stems are made from ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene. This is usually abbreviated to UHMWPE, or just PE. I'll be saying PE for the rest of this video. So the hype behind PE stems comes from the claims that they're supposed to be smoother and have less friction than POM, as well as having a deeper and thockier sound. These specific PE stems were manufactured by Jason and sold by 415 Keys. I would not personally recommend lubing these stems since it makes them feel slightly sticky and mushy, and they're already so smooth already because of the material. For this comparison, I'll be using Silk Yellows, aka Recolored JWK Linears, Stock C3 equals Kiwis, which have the same housing as Tangerines, since I don't actually have Tangerines, and Gateron Black Inks, lubed with Crytox 205G0 with Desky Films. So quick update, it looks like the PE stems are not actually compatible with the Silk housings which means they'll likely not work with any other JWK recolors like alpacas, mobs, H1s, etc. As you can see, the stem gets stuck when you press on the switch and does not return to the upright position. This means I won't be able to use the silk housings and they'll have to be excluded. The actual reason the stem is getting stuck is because the support post on the bottom of the PE stem is slightly thicker than on the other stems. The PE stem's post is 2.1 mm thick, while all the other ones are exactly 2 mm thick. This extra one tenth of a millimeter actually makes enough of a difference to get stuck in the housing's support post rail, which has a two millimeter opening on the silk housing and a 2.1 millimeter opening on the kiwi and black ink housings. Because the tolerances are so tight, adding thick lube to these stems actually gives them more friction on the kiwis and black inks. In terms of wobble, these seem to be a touch more wobbly than kiwi stems and about the same as black ink stems in their respective housings. So really not much wobble at all and you definitely won't notice them in use. And now let's get on to a sound comparison with them in my hand next to the microphone, side by side on my board, and then on my board with a proper typing test. The board I'm going to be using is a Tofu 60 with aluminum case and brass plate. Keycaps are GMK Delta, but with a PBT spacebar.
Now that we've got the sound tests out of the way, let's talk about if these stems are actually worth the money and the effort. I purchased these in a pack of 110 for about $36 if you include shipping. In terms of smoothness, they're actually noticeably smoother than stock stems. These are quite comparable to the smoothness of lube stems, but without the mushiness that you get from thick lube. For sound, there's a very slight difference in my opinion, and I probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference based purely on audio. All in all, I'd say if you're lazy to lube, these could actually be really convenient. If you're into the raw feel and want the smoothness of lube switches, but with none of the mushiness, then these are for you. If you're looking for improved acoustics, I don't think these will make much of an impact. Nothing really beats lubing and filming switches to make them as stocky as possible. In the end, it all depends on if you're willing to spend another $36 on just stems and are willing to go through the work of swapping them out. These aren't going to make bad switches magically become good, but they will give decent switches that little something extra. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review. Please leave a like on the video if you liked it and consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out. All that being said, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.